Hi there, this is Logan from, from Total Chatbots and today's video is just going to be about how we use the customer management dashboard and by extension how we set live chat requests, chat with customers and so on. So right now you see on screen I'm on the initial login screen for my own live chat agent account for our own Total Chatbots bot. Um, so this is the first screen that you're going to see when you log in for the first time. So along the top, you're going to have a few options related to live chat if you're a live chat agent. If you're a bot admin, you may have a lot more options available. Um, but this video will just going to be for the majority of people who are uh, particularly going to be um, live chat agents. So this is essentially what you're going to see when you first log in. And today we're going to be focusing on the customer management section uh, because this is the main section where we'll be redirected to when we accept live chat requests from customers. And um, no matter if it's on the uh, website, if it's on Facebook Messenger, if it's on WhatsApp, they'll all be pushed into this customer management section here. So there's no need to log into, for example, your Facebook inbox or uh, to open up WhatsApp app on your phone. All you have to do is come to our website log in with your account details and sit and wait for any requests to come th through. So what we'll do to kick off the video is I will come through uh, as a pretend customer uh, just to show you how in a live scenario, um, how you would be notified of a chat request, how you'll accept it and what it'll look like from there. So right now on another tab here, I've got the demo for our own Total Chatbot spot open. And you can see because I am logged into my account, and it's between the business hours that was specified for the live chat system in this account. Live chat shows as available for customers. So if I wasn't logged in and there was no other agents logged in from uh, Total Chatbots, this wouldn't show at all. It would show as disabled and the customers would only have the opportunity to interact with the bot. So uh, if you are using live chat on your website with our solution, it's critical that somebody logs in, at least one person logs in daily during the business hours to take those requests because otherwise you won't be notified uh, of a request because there won't be any option for them to request a chat. And this is just primarily to prevent any frustration of you know a customer requesting a chat when nobody's available and they get back a message after waiting for a while that nobody's there to take the request because that can be pretty frustrating so to avoid it when there's nobody available we just do not offer the opportunity to request a live chat so if you do want a chat request to be accepted and don't want that to happen then if you're a live chat agent every morning when you start your shift we would recommend uh, as best practice to log into your account and just sit on the initial login screen and wait for any request to come through so since I do have the opportunity to request a chat here, I'm going to hit the live chat request button and then it's going to give me an option because we have different live chat groups set up for our account, it'll give me an option to select a particular group to go through to. Now, if we didn't have any groups set up, it would just immediately start ringing to all agents that were available in the account. But because it gives me the option to specify, I'll select SME sales. And now if I jump back over to this account here, you can see the notification just came through on the right hand side. And if I hit accept here, what it's done is it's redirected me to the customer management dashboard. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like any other kind of uh, chat experience uh, you may have um, encountered before. We can, in the box down the bottom here, type our message to this particular customer. For example, hello. We can also send emojis, we can um, send documents, audio clips, images or videos and so on. Uh, we can see who has control of this particular chat, which in this case is obviously myself. It's more relevant for bot admins uh, because if you are a bot admin, you'll be able to see all chats in the account that are being handled by any agent. Um, so you'll be able to see against a list of chats which particular agent is handling that chat just to give you full oversight on the conversations your employees are having with any customers that are coming through. You also have the opportunity to transfer a chat if for example the customer has came through to the wrong department maybe you want to transfer it to a different group or maybe a specific team member that they wish to speak to then you can do that using that button there and it can transfer through to that particular group or agent depending on your selection. So just to cover off the different elements of the customer management dashboard, we'll start on the left hand side. So 
immediately you'll see a list of chats on the left hand side. So for a normal live chat agent, this will show any chats that you have accepted uh, or that have been transferred to you. So all of your historical chats will appear in this section uh, and obviously one of the ones with the most recent activity will be pushed to the top. And if a particular chat is live, then you'll be able to see that it's live with the green live text against the, the chat here. You'll also be able to see if it's a Facebook Messenger chat or a WhatsApp chat uh, with the icons here. So we can see in this particular chat, the second one in the list there is a WhatsApp icon. That shows that it's a WhatsApp chat. And if it was a Facebook Messenger, it would show the Facebook Messenger icon, the kind of blue chat bubble that you see on the app itself. So that's an easy way to differentiate where chats are coming from. But to make things a bit easier, we do also offer a search functionality where we can search for a particular agent if we wanted to. Um, or if you would prefer, we can filter by uh, specific attributes. So we can filter by the bot. This only really applies if there's more than one chatbot within your account. For most people, it's probably only going to be one within your account, so you won't have to worry about this too much. But if there is multiple, then you can filter by a specific bot. Um, for medium, we can filter by the different uh, chat mediums that people can come through on. So they can come through on WhatsApp, which is the WhatsApp classic experience that we offer, which is live chat only, absolutely no automation whatsoever. So very much like the standard WhatsApp that customers will be used to, uh, which is usually the most common uh, option people choose for the WhatsApp integration and the most common one that we go for uh, for most businesses because Primarily when people are coming through in WhatsApp, they do expect it to be a chat experience. So we do uh, try and cater to that expectation. But we do also offer the WhatsApp bot functionality. And this is WhatsApp with no live chat uh, and it's entirely automated. And the flows will just be the exact same as your web bot. It will follow the same structure uh, and so on. So if you do want to offer WhatsApp as an entirely automated experience, then we can do that, and that would be the option to filter by there. Um, we do also offer Facebook integration, so if you only wanted to see chats that are coming through from Facebook Messenger, then you can do that by selecting this option here. And same goes for any web live chats, you can filter by those only by selecting here, or if you want to just see any bot chats, which is people who are coming through on your website, and they're only speaking to the bot, they're not coming through on live chat or anything like that, then you can filter by this section here as well. As well as that, we can also filter by status. So uh, customer statuses are tags that we can apply to specific customer chats, just to give an indication of where that chat is currently at or where it was left off. Uh, but we can also filter by those specific statuses in this section as well. So you can see here, we have a few statuses added to our account. Uh, obviously, we have no status here uh, that we can filter by. We can also filter by follow up email required, live customer or demo booked because those are the statuses that we have uh, applied to our account. Now, if you ever did want to add a status to your account, you can set up as many as you want by coming to the customer status tab up the top here, which if I open it in a new tab, we can see the three that we already have added for our account, but you can have add new up the top right here and add some more and once you have added more if you take a look here I'm on the live chat that I have here demo uh, for demo purposes over on the right hand side I can select a status and I can tag it with a specific status for example live customer so now this chat is marked as live customer and if I filtered by um, live customer we would be able to see that chat as we can see there so it's just a good way to keep things organised uh, if you are dealing with quite a lot of incoming chats. Next, we'll move on to the kind of centre of the screen here. So um, this is pretty straightforward. They've already kind of covered part of it. Um, but on the uh, top here, we can see the conversation history for this particular customer. So if they have previously came through um, on live chat in the past, you'll be able to see their chat history in this section here, provided that they haven't came through anonymously, like it is in this case, we can see they have came through as seeker one. Now, we allow people to come through anonymously on their own site because it does uh, tend to boost engagement when people know that they can come through without having to leave any initial details, uh, maybe just to ask a few questions, but we can disable this entirely and we can take their name, 
their phone number or their email address right off the bat before the chat even begins or any combination of those three um, just to make sure people aren't coming through entirely anonymously. So, for example, before the chat begins, we could always make sure that the user has to enter their name to begin chatting. And that means that in the future, if they come through and they get provide the same name, you, all their chat histories will push into the one account one profile for them in the customer management section here and you'll be able to see their full chat history uh, by scrolling back in this section here. We do also have these different medium tabs down the bottom here uh, and for the most part you don't really have to worry about these. Essentially these are just the different mediums that customers can, can come through on but depending on the medium that they come through on when you accept their live chat notification uh, which obviously I demoed at the very beginning of the video you will be redirected to the correct tab for that customer. So in this case I came through on the website so it's automatically selected the website tab for me but maybe for another customer for example, this one who came through on WhatsApp, you can see it's filtered straight away to the WhatsApp tab for me. So for the most part, you don't really have to worry about uh, these are selecting the right one. It's just an indicator of which channel this customer has came through on. As well as that, we obviously have the chat box here where we can type our messages to this particular customer. And we can also send emojis and attach documents audio clips, images and videos, as well as transfer the chat as well if we want to do that. We can, can also see the current page that the um, customer is on when they are requesting a chat by clicking this option here and it will redirect us to the correct page that they are on. So in this case, it's taking me to the preview page as that's where I requested this chat from originally. So it can just give you an indication of what the customer is already looking at um, before they send a request through to you. Of course, you can also end the chat at any time by clicking the end button up the top here and the customer can do the same on their end by clicking end live chat down the bottom here and that will terminate the chat. Now moving on to the right hand side of the customer management dashboard, uh, we see a bit more information about the customer. So in this case, they have came through anonymously, so we don't have a lot of information um, to work off. But if we take another chat, for example, uh, we can see this customer has came through. They have provided their name and they have also provided their telephone number as well. And that is populated automatically into their profile section here. So. For the most part, this information will automatically be added to their profile. So their uh, full name, their contact number and their email address will be automatically pushed into this section if they have left those details when they have submitted, for example, an inquiry form through the chatbot. For example, they submit a book consultation inquiry through the chatbot, they leave their full name, their telephone number and their email address as well as their message that goes along with their inquiry, that will be automatically emailed over to you, but also that information they've provided will be pushed into this section automatically. So if they did then come through requesting a live chat, your agents will already have access to their contact details, their name and so on, as well uh, as being able to see any leads that they have submitted already through the chat bot. So in this case, this customer hasn't submitted any leads, um, but if I go to one, for example, this one here, which was uh, one I was testing earlier, uh, we can see the leads section here has a few different um, inquiry forms that have been submitted uh, by this particular customer, so myself when I was testing. So we can see all the different forms that have came through. And if we ever did want to see what answers they had given in that form, all we have to do is cl uh, click on the form and it will provide all the answers they've given. So we can see I left my full name, email address, a telephone number, and the organization I was inquiring from and anything else that I'd, um, had requirements for as well. So it's a good way to see how the customer has already interacted with your chatbot and your business in general. So we also have the option to take the customer's GDPR preferences as well. So we can build in a a, a GDPR preference question into any of your chatbot forms. Uh, so it will always be the last question on the form or it will ask them how they prefer to be contacted, uh, be it via uh, SMS, email, WhatsApp, or if they're not interested at all. Depending on the selection, this section will be updated automatically. So if, for example, they selected SMS as a preferred method, SMS would be selected here and not interested would be unchecked. If, for example, they selected SMS, email and WhatsApp, then all three 
um, of these options here would be selected and you'd be able to see at a glance that they're happy to receive communications through those uh, those channels. Um, now, if they didn't have, if they didn't select anything at all, uh, then of course it would be as default, which is everything is deselected and not interested as selected. But um, if they did come through, for example, on a live chat and they, they let you know on the live chat that they're happy to receive uh, an, um, any marketing material or promotions through a particular channel, then as a live chat agent, you can manually select the different channels that they're happy to receive these on and deselect not interested. So we've already kind of covered the lead section here, but we also have the media section as well. So if, if a customer comes through on uh, live chat or if they send any kind of media through live chat uh, or through the bot, uh, you know, for example, if they submit an image or a video or an audio clip or any kind of documentation, that will automatically be pushed into this section against their profile here. So. Under the media section, we can see if I've submitted an image, it will show here as it has already. If there was a video, it would show here, audio in this section and documents in this section. So it's just a handy way to keep all the information uh, that a customer submitted centralised, including their leads uh, in this section and any kind of media or documentation I've submitted in this section as well to keep everything centralised and easy to access. Uh, now, the last thing I'll be covering on the customer management uh, video today as the quick replies section here. So uh, quick replies are very straightforward and essentially what they are are canned responses. So as you can imagine, um, if you're managing live chat uh, throughout the day, when people are coming through, you're probably going to be seeing very similar things like, hi, uh, thanks for requesting a live chat. How can we help? Or something along those lines. So to save yourself a bit of typing, because um, you will have to type that out manually every time, what you can do is come to the quick replies section here click the green plus icon and enter in any uh, message that you want to have um, ready to go uh, for sending off to a customer. For example, hello, if I just put this one in to keep it very simple and we hit save, it's now successfully added. So if we scroll down, we can see the new quick reply that has been added. And if I go back to my live chat here with uh, the, the demo customer, I can click this quick reply section here, you can see it's pre-populated the text field with the message and then we can send that off to the customer. So very straightforward, you can set up as many of these as you want and it's just a way to um, minimise how many times you're having to type the same message over and over again and to make things a bit easier for you. So um, hopefully this video has been useful for you, um, that is pretty much everything covered in terms of the basics of customer management, how to use live chat. Um, if you do have any specific questions about live chat or any functionality related to that or anything at all within your account really, uh, then we do have a user manual applied to every single account, uh, whether you're a bot admin or just a live chat user. So if I go back to the main screen here, this is what you see when you first log in and the user manual is at the top here uh, along the tabs at the top. So all you have to do is click in here and you will have a full user manual that goes through your account, any bot building elements, the live chat side, any chat history and leads, the multi-channel integrations that we offer and any settings related to your account or uh, your chat widget. So we would also recommend coming here in the first instance as it does have helpful YouTube videos um, littered throughout the guide as well. But if there is anything specific that you have a question about, feel free to contact us directly if you do have an email of one of our colleagues working at Total Chatbots, or you can just email us at our general email address, which is hello at totalchatbots.com. So again, hopefully the video has been useful for you and you feel a bit more confident about uh, managing live chat once it goes live on your site. Uh, any questions at all, you can direct them towards us. So thanks very much for watching. I've been Logan and I'll see you in the next video.